In today's lecture, we will see bit stuffing. We will start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to understand bit stuffing in HDLC. Before diving into the topic bit stuffing, let's see what is bit oriented approach. In bit oriented approach, it simply views the frames as a collection of bits. So, a frame is viewed as a collection of bits. And the well-known bit-oriented protocol is HDLC, High Level Data Link Control Protocol. And we know the frame format of HDLC. We have a beginning sequence which is of 8 bits. We have a header which is of 16 bits. We have the variable length body followed by the CRC, the cyclic redundancy check of 16 bits. And finally, the ending sequence of 8 bits. And this beginning sequence and ending sequence are of 8 bits and they are one and the same. Let's see it now. Suppose, if this is the sender, please note this is the sender. And if the sender is going to send some data, it is obviously a group of bits. This will be the beginning sequence and this will be the ending sequence. And we know the beginning sequence and ending sequence in HDLC will be 0, 6, 1, 0. So, this will be the beginning sequence and this will be the ending sequence. Let's see an example. Suppose, if this is the sender and this sender is going to send some data to this receiver. And here the common protocol they agree upon for framing is HDLC. So if it is HDLC, obviously the beginning sequence will be 0, 6, 1, 0 and the ending sequence will also be 0, 6, 1, 0. If this is going to send some data, so there will be a beginning sequence and followed by other fields and there will be ending sequence. So in this case, this data is being sent and it is received by the receiver and the receiver accepts this frame because there is no problem with the group of bits that are transmitted. Here is a scenario which has some problems. Suppose if this is the sender and this sender is going to send some group of bits and this is the beginning sequence and this is the ending sequence and obviously this is the data part. Can you figure out any problem here? And the problem is this. There is a bit pattern in the data which resembles the beginning sequence or the ending sequence. And what happens if the receiver receives this group of bits? When the receiver receives this group of bits, it understands that this is the beginning of the frame and this is the end of the frame and therefore this is the frame and it leads to framing error. But actually this is not the frame that was created by the sender. Actually this whole information is the frame. So this has to be handled. So the problem statement is if the beginning sequence or the ending sequence appear in the data part because this data part is received from the upper layers. So we don't know what the upper layers generate. So the beginning sequence or ending sequence appear in the data part. The receiver may misunderstand that this is the end of the frame. So we are required to rectify this issue. And the solution for this problem is bit stuffing. And what we are going to do, we are going to stuff a bit where when we receive five consecutive ones, a zero is going to be stuffed after five consecutive ones. Suppose if the sender is receiving the data from the upper layer and if the sender sees that there are five consecutive ones, it is going to stuff a zero after the fifth consecutive one. And that's it, the problem is resolved. What the receiver will do? It knows the beginning sequence and the ending sequence. And when it sees the data part, if it finds a zero after five consecutive ones, it removes that zero and constructs the original data. So the process of inserting zero after five consecutive ones is bit stuffing. And sender will do this bit stuffing and receiver will undo this bit stuffing. And there is a homework problem for you. Let's see what is that. We are required to find whether the given sequence is correct or not. So the bit sequence without stuffing is given here. So this is the data without bit stuffing. And the second line that is this line, the bit sequence with bit stuffing. The bit stuffing performed on this data is this. And we are required to find whether the bit stuffing performed on this data is correct or incorrect. So post your answers in your comment section. And that's it guys. I hope now you know what is bit stuffing in HDLC. I hope you enjoyed the lecture and thank you for watching.